Hello, hello. I'm going live today on my YouTube. I just wanted to share um, a box I got in the mail from Doodlebug. And it's not a new collection. Um, I am on the Doodlebug Design Creative Team and February is coming up. So it looks like we got a restock of Lots of Love, which is one of my favorites because I just absolutely love this so much. Um, I just want to share um, something really quick on my Facebook. So just give me one minute. And we will go through this collection. So if you are here, um, comment down below. Let me know where you are watching from. And not sure um, how many people will pop on. I didn't, I just posted right now that I was going live. So we'll see if anyone joins in. So I have all of the fun goodies from the Lots of Love collection. This collection is super cute. It is perfect for documenting all things love. Valentine's Day, but you can also use this for other things. Um, I know I have taken this collection and used it for um, something besides like a love or like a Valentine theme. So if you head on over to my Instagram, you can check it out. I'll try to see if I can find videos or posts and kind of link them down below for you so you can see them. Um, but I absolutely love this collection. So let's kind of just go through it. If you've never seen it, you guys are going to love it. If you've already had this collection, um, maybe it's time to pull it out and use it again. Sorry for the noise. I should have pulled that out first. But little Liam is not here, so it's like the perfect time for me to go live. Uh, my two of my, all three of my boys that are still here at home are still asleep. So it's the perfect time for me to go live. So I'm gonna start with the 12 by 12 papers and show you the fronts and the backs. I'm going to just kind of move some stuff around on my desk real quick. So I am part of Dudabug Design Creative Team. Absolutely love being a part of this team. Absolutely amazing. I love their collections. Every new release. Absolutely love them. So here is the Lots of Love double-sided cardstock. This one with all of the adorable images. And then the back side. This one is Happy Mail. Super cute. And then this is the back side. Hugs and kisses. And then the back side. I love the little faces. They're so cute. So cute. Here is the Just For You, and this is a cut apart tag sheet. It has all these adorable images, patterns. You can definitely use these to fussy cut if you like to fussy cut. I love fussy cutting. And then you get the tags in the backside that are just white with the colorful tops. 
and I have done a layout using this paper. I think I've done a couple of them, just showing a different way how to use them. Um, and you can see that on the Doodlebug design blog. This one is lots of love. If you are popping in on the live, comment down below, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. This is the backside. I love the plaid. That one's called Love is in the Air. Gorgeous floral called Forever Flowers. I love their florals. And then the backside is a fun cut apart. This one is Cloud Nine, the rainbows and the clouds, and then there's tiny, tiny little hearts in there. And then the back side is the clouds with the hearts. This one is Plaid Your Mine. These would be really cute if you have um, somebody in preschool that you could cut apart and they can make their own little valentines. And then the plaid in the back, which is always one of my favorites. I love to use this to mat my layouts on. The plaids are so fun. Uh, this one is showered with love. Little notebook paper, really, really cute. And then the backside. These would be cute to cut up to create a mini album with. And then punch the holes, put three rings on there. That would be really fun. I'm gonna have to do that. Um, there's the backside. Maybe that'll be the first thing I do, first project I create with this. Or with the new, the new stock of it for myself. Um, love you bunches. And this paper is just one of my favorites. I love this floral paper. Hey, Megan. Yes, I love that blue XOXO paper. So one side is usually a little bit busier and then the other side is a little more toned down, which is nice. And that blue color is one of my favorites. Um, this one is All My Love. This is red with all of the And then the back side is another floral tiny floral, which I love. I love florals. I love to use these floral papers like this um, to mat my layouts when I have them trimmed down to like a 10 by 10 or 11 by 11. I usually use white cardstock as my base, so I love to have something colorful matted. White cardstock is just, I just love a clean white background. It's just my thing. Yes, I do too. Like when you're on a budget, and I do this for a couple of my friends. They'll ask like, what should I purchase like to get the most out of a kit? Um, so I'll put together like a list and um, like pick out the papers. Like if you get a floral paper that is an easy fussy cutting one, I mean, that's like a really piece of, a really inexpensive way to get ephemera pieces. Like a floral paper is like a dollar, a dollar 10. Um, and if you can get it like on sale and cut up all those florals, it's really, really inexpensive. Okay, this one is sprinkled with love. Sorry, this is the border strips. So cute. These little boba tea or coffee boba drinks. I've never had a boba drink, but they're so cute. Um, they're adorable. And then the polka dot, which is also another favorite. But if you can, I mean, ephemera is expensive and prices keep going up. So like a pack of ephemera is like anywhere from five to eight, nine dollars. So if you can find a floral paper that you can fussy cut and get florals out of that's only $1.10, that's that's awesome. That's I just think that's great. So um, I'll put like lists together for a few of my friends of like budget friendly um, kits. And I usually pick out a paper or two that has elements in there that you can fussy cut, like a floral one and then another one that has elements that you can cut. That notebook paper, I'm gonna make a mini album out of that. I think that would be so cute. Okay, and then you get the six by six paper pad, which if you follow me 
and you've been following me, you know that I love six by six paper pads. Like I will pick a six by six paper pad over the 12 by 12s just because I just, I get the most use out of my six by six pads. Again, I just, I love them. And I, it's because I do a lot of cut files. So when I back my cut files, I love to use the six by six paper pads because they have the smaller prints in them. You can definitely back with a 12 by 12. I've done it plenty of times, but I just love the smaller print. You can see it better in the cut file, I feel, especially when it has tiny or lots of images like this. It just works better with the six by six. So um, it's all the same papers in the six by six pad. They're just on a smaller scale. These are great for backing cut files. They're great for mini albums, cards, in your traveler's notebooks. So again, everything is just smaller. Look at these adorable little tags. So when I do put like the little kits together for like a budget friendly kit, I always do a six by six pad and then um, pick the favorite 12 by 12s because it's just I just feel like the six by six, you can just do so much. So that's all the papers and you get two of each. Chilling from Florida. Oh, I wish I was chilling in Florida. <laughs> that sounds so nice. My daughter keeps asking, can we go to Florida? Can we go to Florida? Um, this is the Icon sticker sheet. Another favorite of mine. This is one that I would pick if you were just picking a couple of things. I would definitely pick the Icon sticker sheet. I love the size of these stickers. They're great for layouts, um, mini albums. I just love the size that of these images here. The little phone, the boba, the snails, coffee. This right here is like one of my favorites, the little chocolate hearts. And then you've got like extra little hearts that are coming up. Super cute. The mini icon sticker sheets. You get two of them in this pack. This one is adorable. The little milkshake, floral. So I love these. I love to use these, especially with like little, like the birds, like little critters, the little images, like the strawberries, like when I'm backing a file and I want something kind of peeking out of the file, um, I will use, you know, these smaller, stickers from this sheet to use to kind of tuck in and around the cut files or if I have like a like an O or a P or like an A something that I can set something in the center of that that these mini icons work really well so those are the mini icons and then the washi we have the um, sweet stamps, which is like the postal stamps. Really cute. And they have that little edge on them. Let me see if I can open them up. Here we go. These are really cute. I have to hide these from Liam because he loves my washi tape. And I have right next to me, to my right, I have a like a craft dresser. And I have all of my doodle bug washi there and all my most of my doodle pops. Um, he loves going through my washi. And that boy will use a roll of washi in like 10 minutes. Um, and this one is the airmail. So if you ever want washi, to, if you ever want to get rid of some washi, you can send it to Liam because he loves it. He loves to like wrap up his like army men or like his little guys, like his figurines to like wrap them up in washi tape. It's funny. So there's that one. And then we have the Doodle Pops. Sending love. Hug bugs. And I love to, like again, for my budget list or whatever, I like to add the Doodle Pops that have more than one piece on them. 
you'll notice that like this one has this mailbox and then the two um, envelopes. This one has a few bugs and a floral. This one is all my love. So this one has five different pops on it. This one has the envelope and the two hearts. This one is love notes. Whereas this one, which is adorable, because this, this one is actually a shaker pop, just has one piece, which is still adorable. But um, when I'm putting my little budget kits together for friends, I try to include pops that have, or when I put kits together, I like to do pops that have more than one piece on them. This one is one of my favorites. Sweet Tea. Uh, bouquet of Love. And then Hello Love. And then the Shape Sprinkles. This is Lots of Love. This one is one of my favorites. Bright Bouquet. Happy Hearts. And I can't remember if I did a kit guest scrapbook kit for this one last year. I'll have to look. Mini jewels. Love the mini jewels. Love is in the air. The rainbows, the clouds, and the hearts. And then the love you more, which is the tiny hearts. I can't, I can't remember. I might have done a kit for this one with like four layouts. I'll have to look and see. Okay, and then the ephemera pieces. So these are so, I love their ephemera pieces, but I love even more that they do a bits and pieces pack for most of their collections now. And I love it when they are florals. I absolutely love florals. So this makes me so happy. And another thing that I love from Doodlebug is their tabs. Oh, you know what I'm missing? I just realized. The 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So I didn't get that in this kit, but there is also a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, I just did not get it with this, but I know I have one somewhere in my stash in my doodle bug collection. So, but the bits and pieces, I love their tabs. Um, so there's tabs and some journal cards and tags and things like that. But on their 12 by 12 sticker sheet, they have like three tabs that have like words on them, like love, family, celebrate, or whatever. Every collection is different. I, those are like the first things that go on that sticker sheet for me because I use them like on top of every photo. I'll tuck them in. So I've asked Cynthia, like, can we get like a whole row of those like on the sticker sheet? Because those are my favorite. But there are tabs included in this one. These just don't have words on them. Um, so I will go through these so you guys can see them. Um, I will go, oh, here's a sticker sheet. Never mind. I do have it. Here it is. It was just turned upside down. So this is a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Sorry. Yes, they would make such easy cards. And there is a girl that I follow on, in, on here on YouTube. I'll have to find her. I can't remember what her username is, but she does a lot of cards and she'll do like take the doodle bug collection or certain pieces from the doodle doodle bug collection and make a ton of cards i'll have to find her i'll see if i can list her down below but i love when she does that because she makes quick and easy cards and they're so cute so the border elements down here these are the tabs i was talking about i love these so i was like we need to do i just wish there was like a whole row of these tabs i just think that would be so fun because these go so quick um and then these words as well go so quick for me too because I, I love to tuck those in on my layouts so if there was like a sticker sheet that just had a bunch of words and a bunch of tabs I would be so happy and then these bigger elements work really well for easy cards layer up some uh, pattern papers and pop this up and you have a card ready to go so that is a 12 by 12 sticker sheet um, let's start with the bits and pieces lots of love And I do feel like I do I did do a kit with this just because I just remember having all of these little bits and pieces um, in a kit. So lots of pieces. This is one of my favorite packs. So you have all of these floral pieces. 
in different colors and sizes. Oops. And then you get the leaves and the greenery. And then we also have some leaves in blue. So lots of fun pieces. You have lots of hearts. So that is all of the leaves and the hearts. And then you have like tabs, little tags some more tabs and then some labels these little notebook pieces some circles and then some more tags are the bits and pieces the chit chat pieces there's 80 88 chit chat pieces in here and I love this so much I love that there's black in here black and white I'm a sucker for black and white I just love when black and white is in a collection so I'll quickly kind of go through these um, you get like the postage stamps there's always like the little board bubbles, some larger pieces, hearts. Then you get these fun little banner pieces sprinkled with love. You color my world. You're a sweetheart. Then tiny hearts. And then you have, this is really cute. I love this one. The larger title pieces. So I think these are all like banners. And then you have these as well, which would be fun to like stitch through a sewing machine and just add like different little elements like this. And then you have these. Get a whole bunch of those just because. Thank you. Love you. You're so sweet for you more word bubbles and then you have this kind of banner as well happy valentine's day you wore my heart just for you um, but this would be cute to run through the sewing machine so i just <laughs> replaced my sewing machine so i'm like going stitch crazy wanting to stitch on everything so i think i'm gonna run that through make a cute little banner or a couple little banners and put that on a layout that would be fun you can even pop in some of these little circles in there as well so lots of fun pieces in this chit chat pack like there are so many embellishments in here adorable little floral banner there in their um, packs like this they're always jam-packed with so many pieces and then the titles so happy together XOXO Hello, sweet, love you, happy, sweetheart, you and me, February, let's see, mail, hello, love you more, and my everything. You can see that there you go my everything so that is all of the chit chat pieces i'm just going to kind of move them off to the side and then the odds and ends which is all of the little icons and things and there's 136 pieces in here that's a lot these are always jam-packed like so many elements I don't think I've ever used a full pack, ever. 
So super cute images, die cuts. Look at all these are so cute. This one is adorable. The little telephone. And there's so many different like size pieces in here. Like you'll have like the, your large ones, but there are medium size and small ones. Like the little postage stamp, the tiny hearts. So I love that they give you a variety. Cotton candy. And I'll see if I can list down below, like link to the projects that I've done using this collection. Because I know that I've done quite a few. I actually have a mini album, I believe, using this one too. So I'll share that in a second. I think it's sitting right there. This is one of my favorites. Oh, I think I did one with the tiny envelope. They have a stamp, which mine is missing. I don't know where mine is. I'm gonna have to order one. A mini envelope die that is adorable. And if you have not seen it, you need to check it out. I'll link it down below, but I think it came out like when this, when this collection released. It's so cute. And I'll link the layout down below too so you guys can check it out. But it is on my Instagram. It was one of my top nine of 2022. This bunny with the mail. Um, I did like a grid layout with that envelope. So I punched out or die cut a bunch of uh, papers with the envelope die. And then created a little tea bag. Um, a grid with all of the little papers. So these are all of the die cuts. So many. So many pieces, let me see. I'll put this up here so you guys can see the images. But let me grab that mini album, I think I have it. Maybe I don't, oh no. I thought I had it sitting right here. Okay, I don't see it. it. Makes me sad. I'll see if I can find it um, and link it for you so you can see it. It's so cute. Um, it's like a like a little traveler's notebook. It's a little bit smaller, and um, it's just so cute. And it's got some of the envelopes, the pattern papers. It's chunky, and I know it's like sitting out, staring at me, and I cannot find it. So I thought I made it for, I believe, scrapbook and cards today for one of the projects. So I'll I'll list it down below so you can check it out. For some reason, I cannot find it right now. I have all my mini albums sitting on a shelf and that one is missing. So um, I'll list the projects down below so you guys can check it out. But this is all of the odds and ends. I will leave this collection linked down below for you. If you guys are interested in it, it's perfect for February. It's perfect to document photos of you and your boyfriend, you and your fiance, you and your husband, you and your kids, um, you and your parents, just so many different things that you can do with this collection. And you'll see in some of the projects that I do, that I did create with this, they are not all love themed, like, you know, husband, wife type layouts, things like that, so, or Valentine's Day. So I will leave those all listed down below for you guys. You can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are just new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And um, I will leave all of my links down below too if you want to check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and things like that. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye. Now I just need to figure out how to end the live.